and plus some good evening everybody this is sports Night news i'm joe borg and there's going to be a quick preview to our flyers versus montreal canadians up there in montreal quebec as our flyers look to keep the winning ways going and move it to four straight tonight which they really have no excuse not to um, with all the people out for montreal yes we of course are down joel fairby and morgan frost now which is not helpful to our side of things but they're down christian devorak tyler Tafoli, josh anderson paul byron Obviously, Weber's been out all season, and Carey Price. Joel Edmondson, Brandon Gallagher, Sammy Nuku, who's a solid, um, at least third-pairing defenseman. Sometimes he plays a second pair. So they're down a bunch of key pieces, where the Flyers still have Lauch, who's been playing great. TK's got better of late. Couturier has really improved um, <clears throat> of late. Look up Anthony DeGrazio, or Anthony DeMarco, I mean, on Twitter when he tweets out. Um, his stuff on the stats about how good Coots and Provy, who have not been uh, good, obviously, of late, have actually looked. And um, that's a huge benefit for this team if both of them can keep looking that solid um, going forward because both of them have not been good this year up until this three-game winning streak consistently where the Sanheim and Risto pairing on defense, even though, yes, Risto, yeah, like everyone said, he has some of his flaws, but uh, he that pairing has been the most go-to pairing of the year if you just look at the minutes and the most pivotal times and all what have you. Uh, Yandel, we would like to still see a little bit more out of him. Connaughton, I've seen a little bit of good and a little bit of bad in his first few games here, but you kind of expect that out of a player like him that's just a third-pairing defenseman. Willman's been great. Ever since Joe has taken over, he's also complimented him. JVR has an extra jump. Jackson Cates is, by the way, the guy that will be in for having Morgan Frost out. If the Flyers can play like they've been playing, carrying the puck through the neutral zone, not just dumping it in, being able to get in and go, there's no reason why they can't beat this Montreal team who have Sherratt, uh, Savard, uh, Petrie as their experienced, consistent defenseman. And they picked up a guy, Cal Clegg, who you have to watch a little bit offensively. And, excuse me, uh, Alexander Romanov, who you have to try a little bit offensively as well. So, this team obviously has talented people we know. Caulfield hasn't got there yet, but he's talented. Uh, Paling's actually having a solid season. You have Jonathan Drouin, obviously. Um, you have Nick Suzuki. You have Hoffman, who can always put the puck in the net, albeit he's not having a good season, but he can always put the puck in the net. So, I'm not saying to obviously take the team lightly. You can't do that with any team in the NHL. But the Flyers, with the amount of people Montreal is out and how downtrodden Montreal is, they're the team that's comparable to Arizona with where they're at. Um, they're a team that you should be able to go into, even in the Hockey Palace in Montreal, and beat the Canadians. So this is a game that I think the Flyers really need to take advantage of. Andrew and I talked about it on our video yesterday, where they have to take advantage of the schedule of the next two games, because you have Montreal and then Ottawa, even though Ottawa's a tougher team than Arizona and Montreal in terms of they have more guys left, but they also have that young Batherson, Norris, Stutzlil, and uh, all those guys that are doing uh, very, very good out there in Ottawa, and then we play Washington. So you got to take advantage of these next two games. It starts tonight against the Montreal Canadiens with about eight guys out of their lineup. So you really got to pounce on them and be able to take advantage of this rebuilding fully, um, really rebuilding tank for a good pick for Savoy or Wright or somebody else in the top of the draft, Kamel, anybody else. Um, that's kind of what the year check, that's kind of what they're doing at this point, the Canadians. So we'll have to see what they're going to be able to do going forward on their end. But on our end, it looks like things are improving mightily under the Yo era. And I look for that to keep happening tonight. Again, predictions are jinx. So going to try not to make them as much. But I would say our Flyers, if they can keep playing the way they've been playing under the Yo era, minus the one Devils game, uh, then we definitely have a good chance to win this game this evening. So everybody have a great evening, pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus the Montreal Canadiens this evening. Hope you all stay safe out there and enjoy the hockey. Peace out.